Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course, in the series, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be covering, well, not an upcoming release, but a release that I wanted to cover, but I was just too shagged on Friday to be able to do it. <laughs> What release I'm going to be covering is the collaborative release between uh, Kith and uh, I guess Disney in this case as they collaborated together to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Return of Jedi. Now before I get into this past collaboration, you guys actually helped me out over the weekend so much and I did want to take a moment out of this video to thank you for the continuous support. So uh, in my previous upload where I was a literal zombie, I asked you guys if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,630 subs before the end of May. Uh, you guys came through over the weekend and helped us reach 3,630 and before I could even thank you for that you came through and pushed the next subscriber milestone that I was going to set, which was just five more of 3,635. And then you surpassed it as well. I just, <laughs> like, I didn't even get a chance to th thank you for 3,630 before we went on to the next one of 3,635. So thank you all. Thank you for the continuous support. Uh, it's insane thank you for 3630 and 3635 i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna set the subscriber milestone now for 3640 just so i can get an opportunity to do it before you guys hit it <laughs> you're just too good to me so thank you to the public and private subscribers for subscribing to the channel it's fantastic to see us hit these little milestones every five subscribers and i always want to shout you guys out helping the channel reach that so thank you for the two milestones over the weekend and hopefully with your continuous support we can reach 3640 before the end of the month as i kind of alluded to at the start of the video this release has already happened i wanted to so badly cover it on friday afternoon after work but you saw me on thursday evening when i was covering that that supreme drop list I, I could have been like you could have grabbed toothpicks and maybe kept my eyes open but I was barely able to keep them open so I was not doing well <laughs> so as soon as it hit Friday afternoon I was out I was gone so I didn't get an opportunity to cover this uh, collaborative release before it released but I still wanted to talk about it and I was going to cover it over the weekend but uh, it was my brother's birthday last week, so we celebrated it on the weekend, and it's going to be the same thing with my birthday this week for this weekend. So I wanted to get it done before my birthday and before the weekend coming, but then after the celebrations of my brother brother's birthday, because we're literally a week apart. So yeah, it was we got the sweet spot right now to talk about this collaborative release. Unfortunately, after it's released, so hopefully if there's anything in this collab, you guys want it's still there but if it's gone you might have to go hunting for it on the secondary market there but uh yeah basically what happened is is that famous uh new york clothing brand kith um collaborated with disney and they together worked on a capsule of star wars themed pieces for obviously as i mentioned the 40th anniversary of return of Jedi. Now, in all honesty, looking at this collaboration, it was probably more of a Kith using Disney's licenses over Disney actually coming to Kith and helping design the pieces, but um, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just definitely probably the way it went out um, instead of them working together. But that's okay. That's totally fine. I completely trust Kith and their ability to be able to come up with a Star Wars collection that is that gives us references to the series but doesn't make it too, I guess, merch-like, Hot Topic-esque, I guess really, I really cringy and generic. They can make it tasteful. They can definitely make it tasteful. We've seen them do it before in a previous collaboration. So I'm very keen today to cover, uh, you know, all the release details and all the details to do with this collaboration, but more importantly, the pieces in this collaboration with you today. Now, how we're going to cover all that is by using a blog post by Kith. Uh, we'll cover all the outwear, t-shirts, basically everything that they have showcased in this blog post 
to do with this collab. We'll head on over there now and we'll start co covering any release details for this collaboration. Here we are at the blog post that we're going to be using today, guys. Uh, if you want to check out any of the pieces from it, read up on it, um, I'll link it down in the description section below. But as always, you can always access it from Kith's website there. So a look at Star Wars trademark Kith Return of the Jedi trademark. I love it that Star Wars and Return of the Jedi is in all caps, but Kith is not. <laughs> uh, explore our latest partnership with Star Wars, celebrating the film's 40th anniversary. And it is very nice to see them collaborate with Kith. Um, out of all the brands that I'd want to see a 40th anniversary done of like one of my favorite movies, I think I'd probably pick Kith to do it, even though I'm obviously a fan of various other brands out there. I feel like uh, Ronnie Feig is really good at um, coming together with a movie studio or coming together surrounding a certain idea, movie or whatever, and creating a series of clothing pieces around it. They do a really good job at it. They've done a really good job at it with the HBO stuff in general. Um, so far with the previous, you know, Disney collaborations as well. Uh, yeah, I like if, like if I was to pick my favorite film and wanted someone to do a clothing caption on it, I'd call out Ronnie Feig and say, could you give it a shot? Cause I feel like they do it quite well. We can see in this collaboration here, we got a large series of outwear across the top, lots of sweatshirts across here, a huge amount of t-shirts, which is always a good time, and scrolling on down, a series of caps, series of homewares as well, as well as what looks like to be some reimagined posters for the, um, for the uh, series as well, which I actually really appreciate as well. I like it when to celebrate a movie's, um, you know, anniversary, we bring back the posters either from the original release, deluxe releases, foreign releases, because as I can kind of see here, it looks like they've brought back like the Japanese one or one from the Asian region, um, because there's a lot of Asian characters at the bottom there. Uh, awesome. That's really cool. I just love posters and I love seeing it when we do, you know, anniversary releases that we get a, you know, a reissue of those or a slight variation of them. And there will be a slight variation because we can kind of see down the bottom there, there's a Kith logo on it. So you'll know it's not an original if you saw it in the wild, like you'd be like, oh yeah, that's the Kith one. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That's, that's essentially showing the whole collection very, very zoomed out. But we can go into the individual sections here and have a little bit of a closer look as well. So I think we should just do that to go through each of them now. Um, unfortunately, no release details, but I know it released on Friday, the 5th, um, which is Revenge of the Sith, if I'm correct. May the 5th, Revenge of the Sith. May the 4th be with you, that whole deal. So it's still Star Wars themed and releasing a pretty Star Wars themed day, so we'll give it that. Uh, yeah, that's the release details that I really have to cover for us because we didn't have anything else. Let's just get into the individual sections now and see how this collaboration shaped up. Okay, starting with the outerwear, we have three pieces being showcased to us. I tried to click show more, but nothing really popped up. When I come down here and click show more on the fleeces, it does work. So I don't know if that's the website being broken, but or maybe it's just that that that's it for the outwear, which looking up. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose that is all the outwear. And if we get into the fleeces next, then yeah, okay, okay. That is all the outwear then. Uh, our signature outwear silhouettes get an all over Star Wars update, featuring custom embroidery, patches and artwork crafted from heavyweight Italian uh, Manteco wool fi uh, fabric and custom woven tapestry jacquard. So I assume the tapestry is the all over print design that we have here with all the uh, stormtroopers uh, all over the top of it, um, which yeah, I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, the all over print design isn't a huge turn off. It's a really nice piece. It's a nice silhouette. The blue tint to it looks really nice. Next we have the varsity jackets with uh, what looks to be, I guess, I was going to say Sith inspired graphics, but then there's also some what looks like rebel fighters and stuff like that. But then there's also, okay, so there's both. So there's rebel and Sith inspired graphics and patches all over it. Um, it looks like one of them gets red font to try and signify it more. What I think is kind of cool and I didn't actually notice it initially was is that there's lightsabers here next to the pockets, but they, they're positioned so they flow really well with the piece. They don't stand out so much instantly. Like it took me a second from looking at it to be like, oh, there's lightsabers there. Like it isn't so obvious and I actually quite like that. 
Um, yeah, that, they're the only details I can really see, like this far zoomed out and whatnot on these two jackets. There's probably huge details on the back of them as well. They're probably nice uh, quilt lined pieces on the inside as well. Uh, yeah. And probably obviously a lots of like little references in these patches to the film itself which yeah i have to be honest i haven't watched the original trilogy in like a long long time i think definitely the disney releases as of late turned me off of it and i've kind of just turned off star wars completely but uh yeah i should definitely give the original trilogy at least a watch sometime soon and maybe watch some of the newer stuff but yeah it's it's a bit like that these days <laughs> there's so much other stuff i could watch instead but uh yeah anyway going back to the outwear uh nice yeah no complaints here I like the tapestry pieces i'm a huge fan of varsity jackets i don't know if i'd particularly buy any of it because i don't like even though they successfully did these pieces and they don't come off super cringy i don't think i'd really want like a huge star wars piece in my wardrobe but uh, i can appreciate it can look at them and be like these are nice little pieces here for sure but uh yeah that's all the outerwear so we'll move on down now and have a look at the fleeces so we've got the 450 gsm grams per square meter so that's thick that's a thick cotton uh cotton fleece pullovers quarter zips and hoodies debuting all over return of the jedi inspired graphics spotlighting beloved characters like darth vader c3po and stormtroopers uh these relaxed styles fit true to size which yeah okay they're not oversized that's totally fine um okay so we got three here but as i showcased before we click on this and we get more of them showcased to so we've got darth vader if i remember correctly the imperial uh guards there um a very iconic scene and actually i gotta say i'm this is what this is why i trust ronnie fog to do it the artwork like the artwork the scene is very well applied to the garment where it doesn't feel off it doesn't feel weird that this piece is like this and it's put on a silhouette that i think works really really well for that design because it's still going to look nice if you pull down that quarter zip it's still going to look nice this is why i always have faith in him to do it, it I, I love it uh yeah nice piece next we've got the ewoks c3po chilling on that chair running across that log there uh again most of the artwork is centralized on the chest there everything that you primarily want to see is on the chest and it works out quite well i don't think the graphic on this works as well as this first graphic but still works quite well Still works quite well still a nice piece next we've got a uh, engagement in space happening where we got some uh, fighter jets fighting i shouldn't say fighter jets but star wars uh spaceships fighting each other uh, we've got uh, Darth Vader's silhouette in the background there. We've got the Kith logo done in the Star Wars logo font style and various planets in the background. Now we can see the stars have been printed all over the piece so you get that all over print feel. And I think it's still really nice. I think you get to see everything here. I, I it's going to have a back graphic. All these pieces are going to have back graphics as, as it kind of talked about before. It has these all over, so all over print uh, designs to it, but yeah. So far, just looking at the front of all three, pretty cool. Next, we've got a landscape showcased here. Um, I can't remember specifically what scene, but I'm sure a lot of you Star Wars fans out there can correct me on what. It's applied very well to the artwork. It's given this really washed out look so the colors aren't super vibrant and super in your face about it, but it's a really nice looking scene on, on the piece in general, and it's applied very well. I think that's nice. We see the all over print design of the Stormtroopers like before. Uh, this time without the blue tint that we saw on the tapestry jacket there. Uh, this time with just the white, which I still think looks really good. This one on the hoodie, it's kind of pushing more towards that merch kind of look for me at least. But maybe you guys still think this is quite tasteful. For me, I'm a bit, eh, I don't know. I don't think I'd, I'd want to be personally wearing it. But uh, yeah, and last but not least, we have just a simple crew neck with the co-branding on the left breast. And probably on the back a huge artwork um i don't doubt that there would be a huge bit of artwork on the back of it but uh kept simple there yeah fleeces aren't too bad um that includes sweaters hoodies and actual fleece jackets i think my favorite piece is definitely definitely that one i think it's just you know the the scene it works the best on the piece it looks really nice yeah but maybe you guys have different thoughts i'd love to hear what your favorite sweatshirt was or fleece that released in the uh in the collab and we'll move on down now to the tees 
Now the tees will view an assortment of co-branded short sleeve styles highlighting the memorable Star Wars characters, movie posters, fight scenes, and more. Standard fit, true to size. Which, no complaints there. Uh, yeah, wow, it's, no wonder they did a lot of t-shirts because there's a lot of scenes that they kind of want to showcase here. Um, looking at it, it looks to be maybe one. Oh no, there's a couple of posters. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Started off with, we just got a simple box logo co-branded kith one there. Next we have the Death Star being built still um, with a quote under it and kith logo under it that I can't see. We then have uh, the Emperor himself, the fight scene between Luke and Vader, lightning everywhere, the Death Star, lots of different scenes here, lots of different fight scenes in particular. The Tonal Box logo though, placed above that graphic. Done well, because with Tonal, you'll be able to see it when you get close, but far away, you'll more likely see the artwork there. I think that's a good way of approaching it. You probably could have done without that logo and just put a small one at the bottom, but it's done tastefully where I can be like, okay, that's all right. Moving on down, we've got, again, the Asian character poster that I was talking about before. That looks really nice on a t-shirt. Moving on, we've got the Kith Yoda t-shirt, which tonal Kith logo again. So gonna be hard to see that Kith logo, which is, you know, what I want. I don't want big branding slapped on top of the iconic artwork, you know? And this one, uh, I feel like the positioning is a bit off. You know, we've got, we've got uh, the, the Kith logo kind of creeping onto the artwork here. I don't know, it would have been nice to just have it like below or way above or something. It just feels a bit off doing that. Moving on down, we've got a, um, uh, is it the Rebels logo? I can't remember which logo, I, look, you'd know more than I would in, when it comes to Star Wars, but it's one of the iconic logos of um, Star Wars with Kith written in probably the dialect as well over the top of it. Uh, and then we have a, what looks like a rough sketch um, graphic tee as well. We've got Vader, looks like a poster there on the center. We've got that, I actually like this probably the mo uh, maybe second, I think the tapestry jacket is probably still my favorite, but that all over, um, well, that very big design of all the uh, stormtroopers together. I think that looks quite nice on a t-shirt like that. We've got the iconic duo, C-3PO and R2-D2 chilling in, um, in the forest. We've got co-branding on the left breast there for that one and probably a graphic on the back. We've got Vader, Kith. We've got another shot of Vader and various ships. We've got Vader and Luke fighting with Vader in the background. That's really cool. I really like that. That's probably my favorite t-shirt. And then we've got the Kith logo done in the Star Wars uh, typography or font style. And that's a nice simple co-branded tee that you could definitely get. I'm gonna say, I think my favorite's that one. I think it, it that's probably my favorite tee there. That one looks the best. Yeah, is there anything that would change my mind? That's nice, and that's nice. They're probably second and third. But I think I'd probably have to go with that one. That's, you know, that that that's quite nice there. Yeah. Anyway, that is all the t-shirts. Do we have anything? Oh, the headwear. Of course. Yep. Let's go check out the headwear and see what kind of uh, headwear we got offered for this collab. Discover an array of fitted caps, snapbacks, that are elevated with custom character embroidered artwork. Uh, executed across wool and polyester fabrics so co-branding simple colors you know black versatile green versatile navy versatile they picked very easy colors to uh, there's three different versions with three different characters on it uh, stormtrooper yoda and beta moving on down we've got uh, stormtroopers with kith over the top of them uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 with Kith over the top of them. And of course, just like we've seen a few times before, the uh, collaborative uh, co-branded one there. Um, yeah, I don't think any of the hats are really speaking to me too much. I'm very simple with my hats. Like I, I have a New Era um, cap, which has only the New Era branding on it. And even then I was still like, oh, I don't know if I want the New Era branding on. Um, I had to go hunting forever to find a New Era cap. They had no branding on it, but I just like my hats super simple. Um, the only other times that I probably like, like escape that trope is like the Chrome Hearts ones or the Capital ones. Um, but I do like to just keep it really simple, really simple with my hats. So yeah, something like this where it's Star Wars branded and whatnot, 
I just wouldn't wear it. I don't have anything against it, but I just wouldn't wear it personally. But maybe some of you guys would like wearing outfits that have a lot of pop culture references, or maybe you, you know, spat a lot of Star Wars references. This is probably more your jam for sure. But uh, yeah, no beef with the hats at all. Just definitely not something that I would wear. It uh, looks like we've got two more sections, the home goods and the kids section. Uh, we'll probably just cover the home goods section and then maybe lightly touch on the kids section. I feel like the kids section is something that we could probably skip over pretty quickly. The home goods, uh, explore the galactic inspired decorative home goods and molded paperweights constructed from poly, poly resin stone, custom glaze finished cookie jars. <laughs> I'm assuming like these are the cookie jars because you can see where the helmets kind of like split open there uh, and vintage wall posters they're, they're probably my favorite I probably want the vintage wall poster because I don't need a cookie jar because then I have to buy excessive amounts of cookies for them uh, featured designs included Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Yoda and Boba Fett is there is there gonna be a Yoda cookie jar? surely not no there's not <laughs> I was gonna wonder how that's gonna work when he's not wearing a helmet, but okay, okay, cool. Yeah, there's your cookie jars. There we go. There, uh, yeah, they're all right. If if you've got kind of like a nerd room, a games room, or something like that, or if you just really like Star Wars, it could be a cool homes wear piece to definitely get. But uh, yeah, I could I could do without the cookie jars. Next, we got the posters. Um, yeah, really like that one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, really like that one. The Japanese or Asian character one is really nice as well. Um, the other two, they're okay. They don't speak to me as much, but definitely those first two are my favorite. Those are really nice posters there. And next we got, what were these again? Were these the resin? Oh, these are the paperweights. Yes, the paperweights, which come in these like nice, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's got like marble and various looking textures inside of it there in a blue c3po and the falcon yeah crazy i will i mean we'll guess we'll touch on the kids stuff so the kids stuff they got three t-shirts uh and a hoodie they were just kids versions of the adult pieces except for that one that's a solely exclusive kids piece but yeah whatever <laughs> well that is the whole collaboration guys um i gotta say look i'm quite happy with what they offered um as like most of it was pretty tasteful. There are only a couple of pieces that I kind of feel like I'm a bit like, eh, this is where it's getting into the territory of being a bit like merch and a bit, you know, a bit too Star Wars-y, but it is a Star Wars collab, so what am I really critiquing there? Like, I, I just feel like, you know, it's borderline in that point where it's like a bit cringy and a bit too much, while the other ones are definitely more wearable and come off more as clothing pieces than like Star Wars merch, which is what I would want to buy from this kind of collaboration is a piece that is like low key a Star Wars piece and doesn't scream Star Wars at you, but um, each to their own, obviously each to their own. Yeah, um, I wasn't really keen on the hats just because they scream more, you know, Star Wars merch than clothing. Um, some of the tees are all right. I feel like I could, I could get away with some of the tees. The outwear is definitely where I was really feeling it because I love varsity jackets and a varsity jacket like this is awesome. But yeah, I think this is um, a really good way to commemorate the 40th anniversary of Return um, of the Jedi. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about it. Maybe you feel that this is not very tasteful, not very well done. I'd love to hear your takes on it. Um, I think in all honesty, when it comes to clothing brand collaborations with like big entities like Disney, Star Wars, so on and so on. A lot of the time we do resort to things like graphic tees, like three graphic tees, maybe a hoodie, and we call it a day. Whilst this, I feel like Ronnie has put more time in it. Pith has put more time into this. There's a lot more thought. Um, it just, it feels a lot more authentic than just like slap a couple scenes on some graphic tees and we'll call it a day. And on top of that, he's done all these pieces on very high quality garments as well. So if you buy any of this, it does come at a, you know, hefty price. If you buy any of this, this will last you a long time. Like I've still got my, uh, Kith Coca-Cola 2019, I think it was, denim jacket in my wardrobe. Fantastic. Barely any signs of wear. The denim is heavy. It's fantastic. I could rant on about it all day, but it's it's well worth the money and it lasts. Like it's not fast fashion crap like a lot of like Star Wars clothing brand collaborations would be where they just slap it on like a very lightweight t-shirt. This has got time in it. This has got thought in it. This has got high quality garments in it. So 
I'm always going to praise a Kith Star Wars collaboration, probably over any other Star Wars collaboration. Although, there are some designer brands that have done Star Wars collaborations, like Jun Takahashi's Undercover. He's done, he's done Star Wars collabs, so maybe that'll be it. Maybe, maybe that could be a topic for a fashion podcast if I ever got on one. Well, who did it better? Ronnie Feig or Jun Takahashi? <laughs> Anyway, we'll save that for another day and another video, guys. I'd love to hear how you just feel about this collaboration down in that comment section below. But as you saw, guys, I'm, I'm starting to yawn. It's like, oh, Jesus, 10 p.m. It's getting late. See, this, this is what I get for working a full-time job and then try to do YouTube afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it just, it gets to me. So, uh, yeah, well, we've covered it. We've covered it late, unfortunately. But, hey, I, I had to celebrate my brother's birthday and... Uh, I'll be celebrating mine this week. Uh, I haven't bought myself anything exciting for it, so it'll just be nice. Be nice to spend it with family, so yeah. I, I'll try and find the time to, to do all the videos that I normally do every week, guys. We'll try and slot some something in there, but yeah, very keen to, um, to yeah, just, uh, just celebrate it with family. But anyway, back to it all. We've covered it now, even though it was covered late. Um, I'll definitely try and get on top of it for the next release. I haven't had a good track record with Kith recently. I didn't cover their Spring 2 collaboration on time. Uh, sorry, collection on time. I didn't cover this on time. Need to, need to step my game up for sure for this stuff. But uh, yeah, well, guys, let me know if you picked up anything from this collaboration. I mean, as I mentioned, it released on Friday the 5th of May. Um, was it a hit for you? Was it a miss from you? Would you have liked to pick up something? Is it sold out now? Do you like the outwear, the jackets, the home goods? Let me know. Let me know what your favorite pieces are from the collab and if you picked up any of it at all down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Kith releases, upcoming uh, Kith collaborations, just give me the three indicators I always talk about, which is a like on this video, comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, as I mentioned at the start of this video, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit that new subscriber milestone I said at the start, guys. 3,640 subs. You know, we're, we're 3636. We're pretty close. You know, you tell two friends, they tell two friends. I feel like we're going to get there. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3,640 before the end of May. But that is everything I got to say about this collaboration, guys. I'm very keen to see Ronnie do more collaborations with Kith and Disney. Uh, well, yeah, get Kith to collaborate with Disney more. I'd like to see more Star Wars collaborations in the future, most definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems that at the moment he's very keen on touching the original trilogy. I'd love him to see, to touch other Star Wars properties as well. Maybe he can pull some strings and do the prequel trilogy. I don't know if he even wants to touch the sequel trilogy. We'll just have to see, but keen to see what the future holds for sure. But, uh, yeah, until the next Kith video, until the next, uh, Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.